Today I'm at Roraback WMA and I'm in the area that's closest to the DEP building. Haven't been here in a while and uh, it's beautiful land now. The, the crops are starting to come up. The whole area is planted with corn as you can see and it gets really high after a while. Usually when I start coming out here for coyotes the corn will be over my head. So I'm just checking around. I'm, I'm doing a walkthrough. I'm going to see if I can spot any woodchucks. I've got one out here actually by the uh, DEP building in the past, but other than that, I haven't seen any. So there's not a lot here. I think it's because there's so many coyotes out here that they just take out all the all the animals. Very rarely do you ever see a squirrel here or anything. And you can see I have my uh, my uh, North American Arms uh, Mini Master. And I can take that and just throw it in my Jeep and leave it there until I get out of work and just carry it in my pocket. Another thing in this area, there's a lot of um, houses in the, in the outer area around here. And I've been harassed in the past by uh, people who live out here. When I come out here and it's off season, it's not deer season. A lot of deer out here too. Uh, they want to know what I'm doing out here. They give me the third degree. I've had them call the uh, COs on me. I've complained in, that uh, I've been harassed here in the past. So you're best not carrying a rifle here. I take the revolver, put it in my pocket, and if I see anything, I can use it. But it doesn't draw attention. I'm also not dressed like a hunter right now. So I think that's the best thing. And if anybody asks me, I'm just I'm taking a watch room looking for coyotes. I'm scouting the area out. So, as I uh, come across some interesting areas, I'll turn the camera on and show it to you. It's actually a fairly decent sized place, some interesting areas here. So I'll just show you a little part of it today. If you cross through to the other side, we're surrounded by fields. There's a big hill down here. And I drew a coyote out over there using um, um, different uh, urines making scent confusion. I drew a coyote out there and I shot him with my 17. He took off, ran up this hill, and I couldn't find him after that. But uh, they're out here and it's a really nice area for coyotes. Now they, I, they must be on to um, all the calls because they don't respond. I've never seen a coyote respond to a call out here. Um, I've come out here with my buddy Arnie before and he's a good caller and, and we use mouth calls and electronic calls and everything else and we have not been able to bring one out. The only time that I saw one out here was that one time when I brought him out with the sense. I was calling but with a mouth call but I brought him out with the urines. Um, I've had two guys that I met out here who said that their dogs, while they were on leashes, were attacked by coyotes and they had handguns on them and they scared the coyotes away. And the DEP said there's five packs out here. That was of last year. So um, I'm sure there's at least five packs out here still. And this is the area where I saw the mountain lion, what was it, two years ago. So I'm going to take a little walk through here and then I'm going to turn around and go back because it is pretty late right now. This is like paradise compared to the meadows. No swamps, no bugs. Right now there's a little breeze, there's no bugs. I mean, relatively no bug compared to the meadows. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. Look, look at this. Right here, right over there is where I was tucked into that spot right there. And a the coyote came out right there. I had put some scent into the area in the center here. And I set up a decoy. I just took some squirrel tails and, and put them up on a stick. And uh, got a coyote to come out here. And I got a shot at it, and it turned, and I didn't kill it, and it ran up here, and it ran up the side of this hill. This is just absolutely beautiful. I've walked through this field, and I've come close to stepping on deer. I've had deer that were sleeping early morning, and I walk, and I jump up right in front of me. Just a, just a beautiful sight. It's just such a nice area. So you have this whole area with these beautiful fields. They turn into farmland as you get up the up the hill which is all planted with corn and then in the middle you get these park like areas that are just beautiful I mean there's just like no underbrush you can walk through it like a park just beautiful the only problem is there's no game out here 
I, I've walked through this place so many times. I haven't been out here. This is the first time probably a year I've been out here. It's so bad that it's like it was hit by a neutron bomb. I always joked about that to my wife. I said, you know, there's like, everything's left standing, but everything else is dead. There's nothing out here. There's deer out here. There's turkey out here. There are absolutely no small game. I did get one woodchuck out here when I just started hunting. Um, haven't seen one since. And I've walked these areas so many times. Very few, very few squirrels around. And I think this is due to the fact that there are so many coyotes out here. The last I heard, there were five packs. Um, I've come out here with Arnie, and we haven't been able to call any in. The only one I've ever called in was the one over here. And I got it. I called it in, but I think it was more of the, the urines that brought it in, the scent confusion. And it's... it's uh, it's so frustrating because it's such a beautiful place, but there's nothing moving around out here. You know, I've got some squirrels. I have got squirrels out here, but not many. I mean, for the amount of time I spent out here, it's basically nothing. I remember the first, my first opening day when I started hunting again, I came out here. And I, had a, I didn't know what to expect, but I had a cooler with me full of ice to put all my squirrels in because I took the day off from work. It was nice and hot. I figured I'd have the whole day to hunt, and it was just going to be a great day. I thought I hit my limit, which is eight. Didn't get a single squirrel that whole day. So disappointing. I mean, I couldn't believe it. And then I kept coming back and coming back. Tick. I kept coming back and coming back and seeing nothing. Finally, I gave it up. I found other spots, and I hunt there. But this place, I, I really think it's the um, coyotes have cleaned out all the small game in the area, or a good percentage of it. You have these beautiful farm fields all around, and there's no woodchucks in them. I have yet to find a woodchuck in a cornfield. I mean, that is so beautiful there, and there's nothing out there. So, I come out here anyway. I keep hoping I'm going to see something. Even, you know, see a coyote. I'd like to be able to take a shot at a coyote if I see one now. They're in season. I can shoot at them. Um, but I always run across turkey out here and deer. This is a uh, well-known turkey and deer area. You drive down the road here a lot of times and you'll see turkey crossing, crossing the street. Turkey season just ended and coyote and chuck season opened. So, I'm going to probably start checking out here again. You never know. Things could have changed a little bit from year to year, but I tend to doubt it. So, every once in a while, I'm going to turn my camera on. I'm going to come back here. I'll take some pictures for you. Show you the place. It's an, it's an interesting... This is a really interesting place. Because this guy named Rohrbach, he was an industrialist. Rich Republican, I guess businessman and he had this this building his house which is now the DEP building he left it to the state he left it here um, when he died for recreation for hunting he's an avid hunter and he um, used to bring people over here I think he's brought presidents down here to hunt J Edgar Hoover was down here I don't know if he had a Tommy gun or what he hunted with but he stocked the area with pheasant if you go to the other side, you go down a couple of miles, there's a cabin that's all burnt out, but that used to be their hunting lodge. And there's a pond there that's all overgrown, and you can see it has stone walls around it. It must have been absolutely beautiful at one time. But the area is still beautiful. It's like this, where everything is open, there's no underbrush. Uh, just a really nice place to walk around. Must have been a fantastic place to hunt pheasant when it was stocked. So, as I go to these different places, over the year I'll take some movies and post them on the site.
I just did a 360 for you. See that hill right there? I've seen a woodchuck hole up there before. I'm going to check that hill out. I'll do another pan of the hill. You can see that's where I came in right over there. It's a really nice hill. The problem is there's a house right on the other side of that. There's a nice stream that surrounds this area. And then it goes into private property. I've hunted squirrels in this area before. I think I had my first squirrel in this area with my 22. I think I blasted it with my 1022. It was right in here, right in this spot. The DEP still doesn't believe that I saw a mountain lion out here. But there's been a lot of sightings by various people. People I've talked to, I've talked to farmers that have seen them. I've talked to uh, two women that have seen them at close, close range while jogging through the area. They're out here definitely. For some reason, the DEP will not acknowledge that. I'll show you what happened. No squirrels. Not seeing any squirrels or anything out here. You can see how nice the trees are. I think I blasted my first squirrel on this tree right here. It's nice out here when it snows. It's just so quiet. Um, the meadows is near a highway. There's nothing in this area. So when it snows, it is absolutely silent. It's spooky. It's so quiet. You can hear yourself breathe. It's, a, it's a very spooky to be out here. Um, but a beautiful place to hunt. streams. Now is when I want to see a, a mountain lion when I have my camera running. Pointing the camera. Actually I'd prefer not to see one actually. <laughs> Tell you the truth. Would like to see a chuck on this wall though. Look at these stones. The whole area, this whole area this whole Roarback area is covered with stone walls like this. Some of them are huge too. There are foundations and markers. These areas in Connecticut were once cut right down for farmland. They took all the trees out in the early, uh, late 1800s, early 1900s. They took all the trees out and used it for farming. And they used, they made walls all over the place to divide the areas. Then once the farming ended for some reason. All the trees grew up and the walls are left. So you see walls and foundations in the middle of the woods. You don't know what the heck they're for. But it makes for some really interesting landscape. There's a chipmunk right there. Right there. Looking right at me. Okay, I'm going to reenact exactly what happened. My Jeep was right there, just like it is now. Okay, I'm walking through here. Open up my door. Come around the back side. Open my hatch. I had my guns and stuff in here. My case. And I came in here and I sat down. Right here. Okay, I sat here and I was taking off my boots and putting my sneakers on. Now right across the street, right there. See that spot right there? Right there, I started seeing the bushes move. Now you can see how close this is. I mean, that's what, 25, 30 yards at the most? I started seeing the bushes move, and I said, what the heck is that? A, 
a coyote and I just froze and I just watched it and can't shoot across the street so I didn't you know didn't even think about that I was just watching it and all of a sudden a huge cat at least half the length of the road or the width of the road just was on almost on its belly crawling across very slowly and went into this right here right over here right next to me here and disappeared it moved without a sound and I was just like in absolute awe of it and I just got back I tell you when I realized it was right over here to my right and I didn't know where it was I started getting a little panicky and I jumped into the Jeep and uh, closed my windows because <laughs> I didn't have any any guns or anything but uh, it was that close. It was absolutely that close. So for the DP to tell me I didn't know what I was looking at, they're insane. I mean, if I can't spot a mountain lion at that distance, uh, I'd have to be totally nuts. Now I'm going to take you up the uh, road here, and I'm going to show you the, the buildings for the DP. Just go a short way down this road, and on the right, you'll see the DP building. Hey, and the sun's coming out for us. It. Beautiful. Give us some nice pictures. Connecticut Department of Environmental Protection. And this is the DEP building. This used to be where uh, Roarback lived. Get out and take a few movies. These areas now are uh, parking. These used to be stables, and now they're just parking areas, parking garages for the DEP trucks. Look at the beautiful fields here. You see hawks circling this area. I've seen turkey out in this field. I like to go up there. And, and be able to look over the fields. That's what Roarback must have done. He must have sat out there and waited for deer. I bet he sat up there with his rifle and waited for deer. Listen to the crows out there. Might as well take you down to the farmhouse since we're out here. You never know, maybe a spot a truck in the field somewhere. But I don't think we can hunt here, it's too close to a building. It's very cool. I mean it's 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 really great for taking pictures. There's a lot of nice nice stuff to look at. Yeah, this place is loaded with hornets. Um, I would love to be able to just go through here and kick through it because it's probably full of chucks in the area. I got my first chuck out in this area down here. And there's cow pastures all behind it. But um, this place, if you go in there, you are definitely going to get stung. See the walls, stone walls everywhere. This whole area is full of them. This every this whole area is broken down uh, by stone walls. Inside, I think they just put stuff for. Uh, they have storage areas, and uh, they have. There used to be fuel in here. There used to be gasoline for the state vehicles, and for some reason, they shut that down. Um, probably because of the state budget. Things got so tight, I bet people were coming here and uh, filling up their vehicles, their own private vehicles, with gas if they had access to the pumps. So somebody put a stop to that. That's it for now, and I hope you enjoyed the mini tour of Aurora Back WMA. And uh, I'll take you down next time, I'll take you to the far end out here. That's where the river is, the guys go fishing. There's a, there's a 
beautiful path through that and it's just some of the most um, amazing landscapes of uh, New England you're ever going to see. So that's it for now. Take it easy. This is Bob from the BR Shooting Journal.